Hi guys, welcome to Majestic Notion. Wait one second, I'm struggling over here. We're going to leave that alone. And actually, hold on one second. Alright, I had to change my candle there. It was giving me a hard time. Alright guys, as you can see, this is a pick a pile. And we're getting into some sexual, romantic, and passionate energies. Clearing the space for all of you. Alright, bringing some good ass energy in here. And we're going to see what we got today, okay? Uh, we're going to have some fun today, yes, okay? Sometimes there's too many heavy energies and it's time for some good energy, okay? So we're going to have four piles. So whatever you feel drawn to, okay? We, the first one, we have the skull. Okay. The second one, we have the gift. The third one, we have the rose, the disco rose over here, and then we have the dream stone, okay, and sometimes, you know, this is a surprise to me as it is to you, but sometimes the pile resonates with the object, so whatever you feel drawn to, let's take a look at that and zone in, I'll give you a few seconds. All right, uh, we will be starting with the stone, I mean, the stone, the skull, and all of the timestamps will be below the video in the description box. And thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, and your donations. Everything is appreciated, so thank you. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, share, share. As you know, sharing is caring. And subscribe to the channel, guys. Subscribe. Have some fun with me, okay? And um, I will be doing the zodiac individual zodiac signs soon. That's in the middle of the month, okay? And it will be all the way to the middle of February around Valentine's Day. But on uh, today, we're going to have some fun, all right? So let's get started and let's go to the skull. See you on the flip side. Oh, and I have to say it's 18 and up, okay? This is a sexual reading. We're going to have fun with that, so if passion bothers you, romance, soulmate energy, karmic energy, which I'm not going to talk about that today, I don't think. Okay, it's all about passion. And this is about the person that pops into your head, whether it's a crush, someone you're recently, you know, getting to know, or someone that you will be meeting in the future. Okay, whoever pops into your mind or whoever is looking at you or you are crushing on. All right, let's start with the skull, and I'll see you on the flip side. All right, guys, welcome back to the skull. Let's see. This might be a transformational kind of love or passion. Like you had to go through, you know, the purge, the, the death of yourself to be reborn for this beautiful love. So we'll see. Or it's just that kind of passion that makes you feel like you died and came back to life. Resuscitated. Okay. Intense. Just like uh could be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you, or you could be a Scorpio. We shall see. What's going on here? Alright. So we have the two of wands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Already feeling that energy, yes. We had to uh go through some things. Ooh, the Empress, the Mother, and look what she's sitting on, just saying, a big penis, <laughs> a big penis, somebody knows what they want, okay, oh, <laughs> and you got options, okay, but you have um, a rose at the end here, a special option, wow, Okay, Empress. And you are single. Nine of Pentacles. 
Okay, let's see all these options. Who's looking at you? You have options because you can go either way with the two of wands and the seven of cups. And definitely there's some people fantasizing about you and they know you're single and you're damn sexy. You could have a creeper also looking at you with this hooded dude in the background. Okay, I also feel like some of you you're you're pretty wise there. You I feel like spirit is um helping you make this decision because we have them in the background here and they're handing out these um cups to you. There's one special one. And you deserve the best with that energy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Secret admirers here. The moon. So some this person with the rose has yet to come forward. Someone dreams about you. They fantasize about you. Even if they have other options, nobody compares to you. Seven of Pentacles. Oh yeah. They want to spend time with you. Um, I'm also feeling a lot of romance like maybe like have some wine some candlelight they fantasize about this a lot uh, maybe like a food cheese plate with fruit grapes I do see a red string here hanging so it's almost like there's somebody that is coming to you with the seven of pentacles in divine timing and they're grabbing a hold of your breast I feel this person loves your breast or they will you're definitely going to feel very passionate with this person. You have your finger in your mouth right there. You're going to be satisfied. Especially <laughs> with the Empress and sitting on a big cock. <laughs> so I think you're going to be satisfied. And be careful though. You have a bump, belly bump there. A baby bump. Uh, so this person might get you pregnant in divine timing of course. Um, is what I feel so you might meet the the father of your children here in time okay you got a future hubby maybe in the mix I just feel like wow and I also feeling like um, not just romance but long conversations um, this person feels at ease both of you next to each other it's like a long time coming mm hmm And we do have like um, duality mirroring here with a pearl. So definitely it, it kind of makes sense. I almost feel like you guys went through a lot separately to come together into this life. You're definitely being guided towards each other here. So yeah, seven of cups with seven of cups. <laughs> Holy crap, double confirmation. So maybe you both fantasize about each other both of you crushing on each other you both have options but it's like nothing else compares it's almost like hmm let's see let me weigh out my options maybe this is just a fantasy but boy and you guys must be dreaming about each other also with the moon here and definitely seven of cups speaks of other things occupying your time especially next to the seven of cups that you perhaps don't see and they don't see when it comes to you you're both mirroring each other um, you know seven of cups speaks of karma working on karma whether it's financial um, relationship wise so this person has things going on in their life but from their perspective you also have things going on in your life but you dream of each other so I feel like a major connection is coming into your life it's just in the dream state. It's on the 5D right now. Level. Okay. There's definitely a lot that had to go on before they walked into your life. But you're doing really well as the Empress coming out here. And you're single. And you're getting a lot of attention whether you know it or not. They're looking at you. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. So that's what it took. That's what it's going to take is the transformation to meet this person. It's becoming like brand new. Nine of Cups. Look how the look at how he's going to look at you or how he looks at you. It's like is this real life? 
are we really here together? Like he's taken back. And you're just like, oh, I'm ready to give it all to you. You you just don't even know. You guys are going to have wish fulfillment. Or you, you want this wish fulfillment. Right now it's the 5D. So there's still some unknowns here. Yeah, we have the strength card. You both could be a little bit stubborn. Um, but also I see a lot of playfulness here. I'm hearing tame this beast. You can definitely tame this beast, okay? He might have struggled with these emotions, with the reality of what he's feeling, this connection. Definitely very unique, very different. Um, <laughs> I see like palm trees and the beach behind them. So you guys might play fight a lot around the beach, go on vacation. Um, look at the stars you know it's gonna feel like you're looking in a mirror almost because I feel like you know you guys think alike you know your your dark and light energies it's like they're gonna be in balance here you might um, make love on the beach is what I'm hearing here but there's gonna be a lot of playing around like friendship, but passion and love and confidence in each other also. But they are being held back by something, okay, that they have to finish. Eight of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this has taken some time, definitely with the Seven of um, Cups. And you might just be, well, keeping your options open. Like I said, hmm, let's see what else is out there. Maybe this is just a fantasy. And they don't want you to go anywhere. They're like, don't walk away from me, please. There's something I have to do still. And you're like, I don't know about you, you know. Hmm. This person is enamored by you. I mean, look at how he's holding her. He does not want to let you go. He doesn't want you to walk away. He knows you deserve the best and you're in your power. You're the empress, and you're not going to stand for anything less. So he, I feel like he feels um, the time running, you know, running out of time. This is seven and eight, okay, and we have seven here. Yeah, and if you, this is eighteen. If you subtract that, that's 777. Seven, seven. So you are the jackpot. Okay? They feel like they won the lottery with you. But, and you guys are connected with that 8 here. But there is just something they're dealing with. But wow. They see you as very confident, mysterious, alluring, beautiful, like the perfect specimen. Wish fulfillment they're like how they're looking at you like how in the world could you be single because you're waiting for the best you will have nothing but the best wow a lot of fantasizing going on yeah queen of cups mm -hmm, they love your breast they want a motorboat they want to stick their face in it they want to use them as pillows <laughs> They love that you are you have this nurturing energy with the Empress and the Queen of Cups. They know you definitely are authentic, um, spiritual, intuitive. Um, you have just an energy. It's like you have the right energy that they want to connect with. They definitely would love to be in your arms. They would feel at ease in your arms. If they, if you guys haven't um, met each other yet, because I still, I feel like this is a like just in the 5D so far. I don't think you guys have come together yet, but for some of you, you you might have in the past, but you're not together right now. Let's see what else? Yeah, there we go. We have the Emperor. Oh snap! Yeah, they don't want you to walk away because they want to show up for you. This person definitely self-pleasures thinking about you. You see this? I feel like that's who, that's you in the background there. They find you hella sexy. 
just like that fountain just very sexy <laughs> this person looks like they work a lot they might be a bit depleted at this time but wow do they want this wish fulfillment they do not want you to walk away definitely feeling you you're both a little stubborn <laughs> You're both strong. You stand in your power. And that's why you are the perfect match. You tit for tat. You know, it's like balance. You keep each other balanced. Okay? I feel like this person's going to pleasure the shit out of you. <laughs> You're and, and vice versa. Okay? You're, you, you are both just a beautiful beautiful energy definitely twin flame energy here with divine masculine and feminine and all this divine guidance towards each other and dreaming okay because at first you will start to dream about it till it becomes a reality so spirit is trying to pull you guys together they do not want you to walk away okay they are very very into you And you're like, well, I will keep my options open if you don't show up. And I've been picking up that energy a lot lately, too. And it's just because of timing, you know. Taking a long time. Now, this person loves you. Okay. They, they want this wish fulfillment. That's why I say it's, I don't know. It's For some of you, it's new. Others of you, it's just someone you haven't seen in a long time. They have to learn their lessons. And here we go. Sparks fly. This vibe between us is undeniable. Ooh. Yes. And you, when you guys get together, you're gonna, you're. It's gonna. It's so playful, but so passionate and mysterious. Definitely magic in the air when you guys go to the beach. Hmm. Yeah. Let the journey begin. Faith. Oh snap! Yeah, they don't want you to go anywhere because they want to tap. They need to take a leap of faith. They want they want to take that leap of faith with you, and you're like, you know, I can walk this path by myself, free will. And they're like, I'm coming. Don't 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 give up on me just yet. Yeah, are you ready for our first real date? And you know how he has that cup in his hand. He's ready to share his emotions with you he's been holding on to those feelings for some time look at those lips mm. sexy so your first real date so they want to make this fantasy a reality and you both have other options but they ain't nothing like the emperor and the empress right it's that final rose there at that other cup Spirit's like, you can have anyone else, but there's nothing quite like this. If, especially with the transformation. Wow. Yeah, I see travel in our future. So this person is planning. And yes, I do see travel with this card. And just really getting to know each other. They don't want you to give up. I know I must speak the truth about how I really feel, clarity, conversation, speaking my mind. So they know they need to speak up because you're slipping away. Okay. I mean, this person's enamored, completely enamored with you. Yeah, I'm romantic, charming, flirty, genuine, faithful, and playful. And definitely you both embody this energy. I can see that. Play, very playful energy very romantic energy as well I see it in the seven of cups the moon and strength yeah <laughs> look at this again are you ready for our first real date will you go out with me a weighted message arrives wants to get to know you yeah this is new but you have already been dreaming about each other you're connected twin flame I'm telling you yeah, you have all the right tools to create miracles. Get ready, willpower, golden opportunities, take the plunge. Yeah. They have all the right tools to make this happen. 
and they see you as someone that has all the right tools nine of pentacles they see your independence they see that you take care of yourself you have self-love self-worth and that you you walk away if you need to okay i no longer care what other people have to say about my decisions so maybe they had people in their ear because maybe they were trying to get some advice as to how do i go about this you know connection and you know if you're going to talk to anybody about twin flames and they don't understand this they're going to look at you like you lost your damn mind oh that's a fantasy what are you talking about so they no longer care what anyone has to say about it they really want to take this plunge yeah an unexpected gift will soon be yours no snap there you go so they're going to come out of the blue here I feel Yep, and they know talk is cheap, and it's time for some action. See? They know that you have other options, and you know that they are somebody... I feel like this person is very attractive, but so are you. And it's like there's other people that want to date both of you. But you guys are locked in, because I feel a very heavy twin flame connection. Yeah, I'm attracted to your mind, body, soul, and heart. Everything about you. You have all the right tools. Vice versa. Wow. Yeah, these are two people that are just really connected. But Divine Feminine is like, I will walk away on your ass. <laughs> hey, you don't want it, someone else will. And they know it. They know talk is cheap. Okay. Alright, let's have some fun with this. Because you guys are very much into each other. They want this wish fulfillment. They do not want you to walk away. They want to spend some time with you. They know that they need to say something and ask you out. And um, yeah, they will unexpectedly. They no longer care what other people have to say. That's probably what was why they were being held back. And something else here, because we do have the moon. But boy, are they attracted to you. So, we're going to use the I've Never or Have They cards and have some fun. But first, I will get into some questions. Yeah, let's get into some questions here. I want to have fun with this. Okay, so what is their favorite position? What position do they want to put you in? Okay. Let's see. Which one do I want? What is their favorite position? <laughs> okay. So they want you to ride them backwards. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that right there. Right there okay well that's fun so that's their favorite <laughs> not seeing your face <laughs> is there another favorite <laughs> okay sitting up um this to me is like tantric so they do want to see your face they want to look into your eyes definitely taking you into ecstasy very tantric very connected so they do want to experience this type of intimacy with you okay where would they like to do it to you and how do they like it so where would they like to do it to you and how do they like it uh, let's see where would they like to do it to you and how do they like it Okay, so free choice and outside. So definitely this person likes to do it outdoors. We saw that with the strength card. What about you? Where do you like to do it? And how do you like it? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Same thing. You see? You guys are mirroring each other. Outside, free choice. <laughs> Anyhow, anywhere. <laughs> Okay, 
And what is your favorite position? Let's see. What is your favorite position? The watcher. Oh, hey. 69. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So what would they like to do to you? Let's see. We got this one. Let's see. What would they like to do to you? <laughs> Pat your breast. And I saw that in the Seven of Cups. Um, seven of uh, Pentacles. They want to pat your breast. I feel like they want to know if they're real. <laughs> they want to know if you have real breasts. So for some of you, you got some nice uh, tatas. <laughs> And what would they like for you to do to them? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Why would what would they like you to do to them? <laughs> Did you piss this person off? Kiss butt. <laughs> they want you to kiss their ass. <coughs> oh my goodness, that's too funny. <coughs> that made me cough. <laughs> okay, let's get another one, my guides. You must have pissed them off. <laughs> and they're like, kiss, kiss my butt. <laughs> or that's how they're going to treat you, like, kiss my butt. But it's kind of, like kind of playful. Let's see what else. What else would they like you to do to them? They want you to lick their belly. They want you to lick their belly. So they like, you know, they, they want you to go downtown. I feel like they like the slow move to the south as you lick their belly, their navel, their stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would they like? Okay, so I, I already did that. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's get into these cards. We have, I've never participated in an orgy. Mm, or have they? So we're going to ask for them first. Let's see. Has the Divine Masculine had an orgy before? Have they participated in an orgy? Nope. So that's a no. And what about for you, ladies? Divine Feminine. And this is not for everybody. This part, okay? Just for some of you. Oh. <laughs> Naughty divine feminine, yes. <laughs> okay. Wow, you would think it'd be the other way around, huh? Mm. Okay, I've never made a booty call in the middle of the night. Well, we know he has. Come on now. Let's see. Divine masculine. Has he ever made a booty call in the middle of the night? Yeah, for some of you, it was with you. But I'm sure all guys do this. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and for you, Divine Feminine, have you ever made a booty call in the middle of the night? Yes. I figured that one would be yes for both of you. All right. <laughs> okay, that's what I got for pile one. Okay, this person is completely enamored with you. They see you as the jackpot, wish fulfillment. Same thing with you, but you know how to put your boundaries, set your boundaries, and put your foot down. They do want to take you out they know that they want to have some type of vacation with you to get to know you um they fantasize about this a lot and they know talk is cheap so i'm glad that card came out because they know it's time for action because they feel you walking away um they you both are very romantic they're going to come to you unexpectedly and take this leap of faith and this is where this journey will begin um 
and they're very attracted to you. They see you as someone that has all the right moves, all the right tools. They love your mind, your body, your soul, your heart. I mean, they're in awe as to why you're still single. And it's because you're picky. Because you want someone that is right for you. You're not going to spend your time and energy on people that don't level up. And that's what I see here. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, I will be doing, let's see, the gift pile next. So if anyone feels drawn to that, and watch as many as you feel drawn to, okay? I'll be doing those next, so I will see you there. Bye-bye. Alright guys, welcome back. Welcome to the gift box. Alright, if you feel drawn to that, let's see. What does this gift have to reveal? This gift box. Uh, we're going to leave this here for later. Let's see what we got. Ooh, right away. Ace of Cups. This could be new love. Or someone you are madly deeply in love with. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, someone that is taking their time to come into your life. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. But well worth the wait. Nice. Family guy. Okay, someone ready to bear it all, give it all. Okay, this person really, if they will take their time with you, but they will invest their heart when they're ready fully. Beautiful. Four of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel you came out of nowhere for this person. And it took them some time for them to adjust to this. In this deck, that is the hand of the High Priestess. Okay, you see it over here. You came out of nowhere. You showed yourself to this person somehow, some way. They saw you, whether it was online, you met briefly, and you see their face. They had to really analyze this. Okay, because you see, they have been in other connections that have failed, right? They've cried a lot of tears over that. And... Um, you know, it all had to do with their perception and their healing in order to understand this type of love. And that's probably what has taken them back. But this is a gift, a divine gift, the Ace of Cups. So this is definitely a spiritual connection. And this takes the balance between the yin and the yang, the light and dark energies within you before you can come into this union. Um, so that's what's been taking so long. Wow. Okay, but beautiful. You, I mean, you see the rainbow outside the window, the lineage, you know, family tree. Definitely, you know, this person could have children, but this person's going to want to have a whole life with you. Um, but it took them some time to get used to this, okay? You came out of nowhere. This is a divine gift, and it's also a divine gift for you. All right. Both of you had to go through some things. So if you're resonating with pile one, this is like similar to that. But let's see what else we have. Ooh, three of wands. Three of wands at a distance, but somebody here definitely wants to be by your side. I have, I feel like they miss. If, if this is someone watching you online, because for some of you, this is all new. This is a whole new cycle that leads to this beautiful um, family down the line because it is a gift so it's resonating with the box um, what was I going to say? yeah it, it, what was I going to say? okay anyways we'll come back justice yeah this is true love here this is justice for whatever happened here for both in the past and for whatever work you have done on, on yourselves. This is very balanced, very just and true. Then, you know, when we come into balance as well with the heart and the mind, that's when we get this gift, this beautiful gift. Yeah. Speaking the truth. And boy, you see how he looks like he surrenders there? He's like, I surrender. I want it all. Take me, I'm yours. <laughs> so
so divine feminine is like okay you're here now we now we see <laughs> now you're gonna see the funny sack no <laughs> um yeah you guys are kinky okay i just feel like you guys are gonna have some fun when you finally get together very um very in inspiring here <laughs> a lot going on here i feel they're in awe of you they see you as as this beautiful goddess that can take control and just i feel like this person's used to being in control in the bedroom but they wouldn't mind experiencing what you got to what you have to show them that's what i'm feeling tit for tat yeah look at that queen of pentacles this person could love your feet or they have a foot fetish i just feel like this person aims to please they aim to please they're enamored with you they put you on a pedestal here too it's almost that it's almost like they really it's like how did i get so lucky why is this showing up in my life they questioned it all they they lived in the eight of swords energy is what i'm feeling here for some time because you have self-worth they see you as wife material with the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles they see you as someone that would be a wonderful mother nurturing someone that can handle things when it goes bad when they need someone to talk to okay when they're feeling down they just they see you as everything and this person will give you his whole heart i mean it's like when they saw you their heart just overflowed it overflowed it was like what's happening to me five of wands this could have been um the conflict within themselves they could have been worried that perhaps maybe there was someone else in your life or they could have had someone in their life as well um so let's see let's continue but i do feel like you guys are going to get freaky outside um for one of you maybe somebody's like watching you guys or something maybe you have like some weirdos you know in the past some exes some crushes um i feel like they're watching you guys or they will be watching when you guys come together i definitely feel a bunch of online lurking around nine of pentacles mm -hmm. so somebody's single somebody's single here uh you both could be if you're coming together yeah they want a piece of you they do they're cutting a piece of your hair it's like you know, i feel like they struggled maybe they had to cut ties with someone um but they could have struggled and maybe at at different points of the connection or, or the you know the time to accept all of this and and analyze it for what it is um they could have wanted to cut cords but they, they can't it's a soul connection seven of wands yeah they wanted to resist but look they can't it's like i can't resist your charms i must have <laughs> they tried but look at that surrender with the ten of pentacles okay for some of you they had to resist because of another connection they were in but boy did they do they did they want to be by your side it's like they couldn't look at it they saw it but they couldn't look at it because they were in something else but they're gonna come speak the truth with justice they're gonna bring you justice speak the truth with the three of wands they want to talk to you okay I feel like they're single now with the nine of pentacles yeah knight of wands they wanted to run away with you mm -hmm. they wanted to be wild and free with you but they were their hands were tied 
That's what I'm seeing here. They saw you and it was like, boom, Ace of Cups, the one. But they were in something else. But they're, they will come to you. They will talk to you. They've been holding back for a long time. Yeah, I will tease you till you beg for more. I want to satisfy all your fantasies. I am to please you in every way possible. Let's play. Mm -hmm. I am a hopeless romantic. I pay attention to the small details. You are getting closer. So they're getting closer to you is what I feel. Because they're single now. Yeah, I hope you're ready because I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, kinky. This person, you guys are going to be kinky, okay? You see that whip in his hand? And then you guys have like this, you know, whips and chains over here, handcuffs. Oh, yeah. He's like, I hope you're ready because I'm going to give it to you. But this could be you too, Divine Feminine. Because um, I do feel this is another twin flame connection for some of you. Um, you're like, oh, yeah? Well, I got a little something up my sleeve myself. So we're going to give it to each other. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling there. They are so ready. They've been holding back. Yeah, you're in every song I hear and in every song I play. And this could be you or both of you with the Knight of Wands here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Divine Feminine. You are a goddess beautiful inside and out I love everything that you are oh yeah they love everything that you are it, it was like oh this is it but he, they couldn't do anything manifesting each other into your lives as above so below unconditional love sexual healing connected at the seams eternal flame beautiful yes look at this with the knight of wands here they saw you as a conquest and now they see you as the one the love of their life i see you in a different light how could i have been so blind so i feel like you went through some sort of transformation maybe and they were watching you from before like they saw you and it was like i don't know you know maybe this person has like some sort of status or something i don't know and you went through your transformation and now it's like, oh my God, like you're a goddess, beautiful inside and out. How could I have been so blind here? Your manifestation. Um, you manifested each other, but you both had to go through transformation. We do have a butterfly here. So that's probably what happened. And you know, before they had to go through their transformation, maybe they were living in their ego and pride. And it was like, eh, she's not really my type. Or, you know, I just feel like maybe somebody has some sort of status and you didn't fit into that group or something. But now you're like, blew them out of the water. It's like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. I, I, how, how can I have been so blind? But when they saw you, they wanted to take you to bed. <laughs> Instant attraction, okay? It wasn't lack of attraction. It was like, damn, I, I, I do that. And then slowly but surely they kept watching and watching and watching. And boom, they saw you as the love, the gift. Okay. Yeah, this magnetism is animalistic. I'd like to do you into next week. Middle of the night sex. I just can't get enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're completely drawn to you. Twin flame energy with divine feminine and manifesting each other into your lives. Completely. They are completely, and they're single now, so you guys are getting closer. Yeah, royalty, past life payout. I knew I felt some kind of status here. Um, and that probably rolled over into this lifetime. So this probably... be be for someone where, where this person could be in the public eye if I can speak here um, but there's a past life payout here I almost feel like in a past life you guys had important roles um, 
in this is in this lifetime you will have that again even if it's like later in your life is what I'm hearing but better late than never Wow okay yeah someone is lying the truth will be revealed to you to me this tells me that they have been lying to themselves and um, they're gonna tell you why I feel like somebody's just been hiding their emotions they've been watching you but hiding or maybe there's someone you met and they acted like they didn't like you know or, or like they weren't that into you and they were so they were they would rather watch you from afar till they fed fell head over heels and understood that this is a gift this is a manifestation this is a twin flame connection yeah, if I had it my way, you would be here with me right now. Mm -hmm. There you go. I have shown my family and friends your pictures. Great feedback. So they're showing your pictures. So it's for a reason. Or you are Divine Feminine. Huh. Now, with justice and someone is lying here, this person could be in something, you know, like I said, someone was in a connection and maybe now they're single because they found that out. Okay. Wow. But this person is very, very, very into you. I bet you they feel like shit that they ever just saw you as a conquest in the past. They understand it now, though, from what I see. They're very drawn to you magnetically. And definitely I feel they understand you are a divine feminine. I feel like this person is awakened now. They had to go through it. And they do want to come see you. They want to talk to you. They want to bring you justice or bring justice to the situation. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. So what is their favorite position when it, when you guys finally get together? What's their favorite position that they want to put you in? Okay, so they want your legs up, feet on their neck. Okay, fold you like a <laughs> like pita bread here. <laughs> Let's see, what is your favorite position, Divine Feminine? Oh, hey, okay. So, you know, laying back. Can you guys see that right? Oh, right there, there we go. Oh, it's this way. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, so they want to do it standing up. All right. Or, the, or that's your favorite position. Sorry. Okay. So where would they like to do it to you? And how do they like it? So where? Where would they like to do it to you? And how do they like it? Let's see. Where is it? If I can find the right... Nice. Okay, here we go. So where would they like to do it to you and how do they like it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. They want to get it in the bedroom and they like it rough. So they're feeling a little, you know, uh, very drawn to you at this time is what I'm feeling. Okay, what about you, Divine Feminine? Where would you like to do it, and how would you like it? Okay, so we have free choice and other other bedrooms. So maybe you'd like to do it in someone else's bedroom, you know, spontaneously. Like if you guys go to like a house party or somewhere where there's like, you know, where everybody else is on the other side of the room or the house, you know, or wherever you're at. It's like, wherever. Wherever. Okay. What would they like to do to you? Alright. See here. What 
What would they like to do to you? Let's see. Oh. Okay, so we have lips and free choice. So that goes for the lips on your face and the lips, you know where. Okay. And what would you, what would you like to do to them, Divine Feminine? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. You guys are mirroring each other. <laughs> lips and free will or free choice. So that means you guys just want to kiss all over. Blow job kissing every single part of your body your lips your ears your neck your fingers your toes your nipples your ass cheek <laughs> your thighs I mean damn that's hot okay <laughs> and what would they like you to do to them oh I already did that okay yeah okay so <laughs> let's get a hold of these and see I've never or have I I've never had a hand job on the plane okay well that, that that's a new one okay on the plane let's do it for divine masculine here first has he ever had a hand job on the plane. Oh, that's a big old yes. Okay, Divine Feminine, have you ever been fingered on the plane? I guess that that would be the question. Yeah, I I didn't think so. <laughs> no. Okay. So let's go here. I've never had sex, and that won't be for everybody. This portion of the reading, okay? I've never had sex on my roommate's bed okay so we have this other room thing <laughs> right so let's see has the divine masculine ever had sex on his roommate's bed uh, yes <laughs> and what about you divine feminine have you ever had sex on your roommate's bed <laughs> yes <laughs> you have all right <laughs> okay guys wow well now you get to know a little bit more about this person whoever this is for you whoever's resonating and they get to know a little bit more about you divine feminine okay um, but definitely they they were really holding back because they were in something else for sure um, but wow, do they feel drawn to you? And it doesn't matter what they thought in the past. You know, if they just wanted to sleep with you in the past. It just means they were really attracted to you. They didn't understand why. And it took some time with the Knight of Pentacles to figure this out. That it was a gift. It was love. And I do feel like this is somebody that watches you online. Or someone you met briefly. And you left you left a, um, an impression on them over time. I know that they're looking at you even if you met them briefly. They found you online and they started to look at you. And went through the whole... Excuse me. Went through the whole um, confusion of why they were so drawn to you. But I feel like they get it now. Okay? They really want to talk to you. They want to surrender. Alright guys, that's what I have. I will be doing the rose next. So if you feel drawn to that, you can watch that as well. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Welcome back. If you picked the rose pile, this is your pile. The disco rose. So let's see what this is all about. Don't know how that's going to tie into the reading. But what I can see is something blossoming. Also, I'm I, with all the colors of the lights... I'm feeling like the chakras being activated, like activation here, and purification, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Beautiful. So let's see if it coincides. So you could have met someone that activated all your chakras and vice versa. Like you just made this person go wild. <laughs> 
like their circuit just this could have been like love at first sight also let's see yeah ace of swords enlightenment yeah crown chakra yeah you could have like a kundalini rising when it came with to this person as well um or both all right so we have the ace of swords here the nine of wands the death card mm -hmm. yeah and the two of swords uh-huh definitely something about chakras transformation and something was heavy and they had to get through these blockages all their chakras were blocked every single one they couldn't see see nothing for anything so they had to go through a transformation and boy this person went through the mill <laughs> okay they're like what the fuck did I just go through what is this I feel like somebody went through the dark night of the soul and kundalini awakening to get to this crown chakra just like that little emoji with the blow up head oh yeah let's see what we got here page of pentacles okay three of cups ooh, ooh la la the star yes healing faith with the death card uh, with the death card yeah this is um the death star endings always bring new beginnings that's what happens when uh two stars collide the death star it creates a whole new universe or a whole new not universe but a whole new um uh solar system galaxy uh, it creates new life so wow this is interesting yeah king of cups Woo. heart chakra wide open mm -hmm. crown chakra wide open ace of cups there it is again wow I mean this love was transformative most definitely Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, King of Cups, the star faded, just faded. Two people creating a whole new world, a whole new self. Page of Cups. Wow. King of Swords. Yeah, talk about being cracked open yeah the hangman and we have a caterpillar here definitely had to see things so differently yeah you awaken the chakras within this person I'll call you Shaka Khan <laughs> okay I don't know why but that just came to mind okay wow let me just say you completely whatever this person thought love was about before you came in out of like nowhere to change every single thought this person ever had they went through a deep war trying to fight whatever this was and um dark night of the soul enlightenment healing you know being wiser looking at things differently very different perspective here they look at love so differently now you change this whole person's perspective basically very transformative type of love so this is all about blossoming into your highest self is what I see here wow and there could have been some level of toxicity before in the past but holy shit was there attraction and love lots of love so much love stuck on you you have a very healing energy to this person you just ripped right through their their psyche their emotions their chakras I mean you came in like that ace of swords out of the blue they didn't know what hit them that's why they felt like the nine of wands here 
It was like that lightning bolt. What? <laughs> that's why they're in, that's why they're looking like that. Like holy fucking shit. What is this? What is this? I'm feeling. Hmm. And we have three of cups here with union. I mean, boy, do they want to be all over you. They love, love, love you. Adore you. They love your smell, your body, your skin, your scent, your essence, everything. They want to devour every single inch of you. You change this person for life. I mean, look at this. They just love your energy. You just, like, you heal this person with your energy. Like, I'm hearing magical. They see you as someone magical. And I do feel some level of frustration because they don't know where you are or who you're with. I feel like this person has been wanting to reach out. They don't know how to say it or what to say. Okay. They just feel like they got run over by a damn love train. <laughs> They tried to be logical here as well, but they couldn't add logic to this love. They tried to block it. They tried to ignore it. They tried to, you know, block this transformation from happening as well. They couldn't fight it, but the Ace of Swords pierced right through. They just, they couldn't avoid it. They tried hard. It was like this person with the with the king of swords here this person is very logical but we do have the king of cups so i feel like with the star they're finding that balance and the hangman that's what they needed to find and you just like you blew this person's mind it's like what is this you know maybe they tried to like write some things down maybe they were dreaming about things they wanted to connect the dots like you probably haven't seen this person in a while because they had they had to take some time here to digest all of this. This is intense. But look at this. That's what they want with you. Okay, for some of you, maybe you experienced making love to this person and it scared the shit out of them. But for others of you, this is what they want. They just absolutely love you. Wow. They are stuck on you. I'm hearing they want you like they want you to themselves. They want to they want to tie you up. They want to put you somewhere. Look at them. They look so <laughs> defeated. It's like I tried to fight this. I can't. Look at you. You're so fucking hot. You're so fine. Everything about you. What did you do to me? What am I supposed to do with all these feelings that I feel now? How do I express it? It took me so long to understand this. You might be with someone else. I want you and I can't fight this anymore. They can't fight it anymore. They can't block it anymore. And I feel like maybe perhaps you put an end to this. Um, it's been a long time. Woo. Wow. You threw this one for a loop. For sure. Dang. This, prob this person is probably used to um, low vibes. Um, you know, people they can just easily manipulate, take to bed. And with you, they just couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. They fell for you. I, I feel a sense of love at first sight here. I mean, damn. You just... Their crown chakra and their heart, you opened it. So this definitely makes sense. He lit up like a Christmas tree. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, road trip. Mm -hmm. They want to come see you. They want to. They want to talk to you. I'm closer than you think. Oh shit. Yeah, deep reflection. You had this person like in hermit mode. Like, what is this? What? What? 
I never learned I never thought love could be like this I, I've never had this kind of love this is the kind of person that probably thinks you you put a spell on them you're some sort of witch but it's just you your energy very healing very transformative to this person's life yeah we have a love letter message email text and DM and with the hangman I just feel like they're trying to figure out if or how they're going to say something because I see it here and they're very wishy-washy when it comes to this message because I just feel like you threw them for a loop they probably ran 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 like hell okay yeah I have a major crush on you watching from a distance secret admirer they have a major crush I mean this is more than a crush my goodness I'm thinking about you passionately at this very moment extreme desire impatience can't sleep the struggle is real so you have this person in like that nine of swords energy I mean this person was shaking their damn head like what the fuck is this yeah I, th I knew it you're magical I've never met anyone like you magical sorceress healer manifesting your dreams with the star Wow yeah you were like magic to this person you just came out of the blue blind desire the unknown open to trying new things intoxicating it's so fire oh yeah yeah mercury retrograde a blast from the past so a blast from the past uh, mercury retrograde it should be coming in February at some point if I'm not mistaken I'll have to look that up but um, look that up guys so they might be coming back around here around that time yeah someone is curious about you you keep me guessing laughing and intrigued my eyes are on you yeah this person is very fixated on you surprises are on the horizon keep those arms open Wow holy shit chakras are just going wild <laughs> yeah you had this person's chakras like discombobulated he didn't understand or she what was coming when it came to what was going on within them you made this person nervous as fuck let me tell you what mm-hmm they love you they love you so much they don't understand it must be a soul tie because they, they just don't understand it's like definitely this person would think you put a spell on them not that you did of course it's your energy you are the spell okay that's what I see here you activated all their chakras every single one but mainly their their crown and their heart chakra I mean wow definitely you could have dealt with an Aquarius or a Scorpio here we also have uh, Pisces Cancer doesn't have to be Libra and Gemini Wow okay well let's see so what would they like to do to you what would they well hold on before we go there let's do what is their favorite position what position would they like to put you in well that's interesting <laughs> I don't know the name of that but uh, it, it seems uncomfortable for you guys if the feminine is watching here but hey some of you might like it that's the position they want you in and what about you what what's your favorite position divine feminine I, <laughs> like what in the fucking hell okay so they I just feel like you you like um, oral sex okay but you can also this is also like backwards I'm not backwards but like riding them but with your legs up 
over their shoulder while they're laying down okay as you can see there well that's a unusual position but yeah okay so where would they like to do it to you and how do they like it so where and how do they like it um, okay <laughs> oh boy this guy's like kinky free choice free choice when it comes to you like it says here I think it was yeah open to trying new things free choice this person is open to anything they just want you they don't give a damn what you do to them or what they do to you they don't care <laughs> they just want it they want it bad okay and what about you feminines where would you like it and how do you like it so we have <laughs> you want it rough and you want it in the hallway <laughs> okay <laughs> that's for some of you not everybody's gonna resonate with that one okay so what would they like to do to you what would they like to do to you Ooh, they want to lick your thighs and you know where that leads next mm -hmm. and what about you what would you like to do to them okay so ear and free choice so I think you would start there and then you do whatever the hell you want it okay <laughs> all right okay so let's get into these never have I ever or have I've never or have I I've never had sex while someone else was in the room mm. okay this is not for everybody okay <laughs> let's see what this person um, this king of swords king of cups energy I've never had sex while someone else was in the room so that's a no for them what about you divine feminine or whoever is watching no okay okay good and I've never made out with more than three people in one night okay or have you so let's see when it comes to them have they ever made out with more than three people in one night that's a no and what about you divine feminine Ooh, we have yes kinky <laughs> and naughty naughty girl all right that's for some of you though hey sometimes when we're drinking and we're having a good time we we you know <laughs> i guess <laughs> all right all right guys that's what i have for you guys um yeah does this person want you most definitely bad but it's all about love you you change this whole person's per perspective on everything on connections relationships love and they had to feel it to understand it and they did you their their chakras went haywire when they saw you you made this person very nervous they're stuck on you but they're wishy-washy about telling you i feel like this person is just so logical they don't like to open up with the two of swords and the king of cups but they're stuck so if they don't open up you know that that really sucks because i mean what are they going to take it to their grave you know i don't know what else is going on in their life or you know what their you know their association is but something is keeping them from speaking and um, they could be fighting a transformation here or accepting this but I mean it's plain plain obvious they think about you so passionately all the time it does say I'm closer than you think so and surprises are on the horizon keep those arms open 
So maybe this person is going through a dark night of the soul energy here. They're still curious about you. And you keep them guessing, laughing, and intrigued. So I definitely feel like they're watching you. They're still reflecting on this. They could be healing at this time. Definitely some dark night of the soul energy here. Wow. Enlightenment as well. They could be going through an awakening. Wow. And a Kundalini awakening with all these activations. A lot of activation. I feel like spirit is working with this one. Alright guys. That's what I have. I will be doing the Dreamstone next. So if you guys feel drawn to that as well. You are more than welcome to watch. And hey. Much luck to you guys. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Hello, last pile. All right, guys. So if you pick the dream stone, <laughs> I have to say this because as soon as I was like getting ready to um, hit play with this pile, I was getting, but you say he's just a friend. And you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. <laughs> I feel like somebody could be dreaming about you. But they're like, they're looking at you with a, um, like their eyes are like, I don't know. Would you say he's just a friend? <laughs> like you have someone else maybe, or, or they don't know what you're up to. I don't know why I got that song, but we're going to see here. <laughs> like I said, sometimes the pile, um, uh, the the object coincides with the pile, so we'll see. But I got that loud and clear, and I haven't heard that in a while, so. <laughs> you got what I need. So you got what somebody needs, but you say he's just a friend. Hmm. Somebody's wondering what you're up to. I feel like somebody's stalking you on social media. They're looking at to see what you're up to. They want you. They dream about you. So this is probably like a secret crush. Um, maybe they know you've been through some things or, or you have other options or something. Let's see. Ooh, we started off with the tower. Dun, dun, dun. Scorpio. A Scorpio bomb energy to a ten of swords who jesus with the tower oh and i just heard death becomes her oh my god what the f <laughs> i i did and you know what happened she took a potion that made her young again it made her go through a transformation so whatever you went through my goodness you will never be the same. Good Lord, what the... Let's see what's going on here. Thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning in the thunder. We have a new, a new day, a new horizon, okay? At least we got that. A complete... Oh, wow. Hold up. You might be resonating with the rose one as well, for some of you. Damn. Uh, some of you do acupuncture, but what I'm seeing here is that you, you didn't have a choice in this matter. This was divine intervention. The divine said, your chakras need work, and we're going to do it for you. You're not going to like this. It's not going to be pretty. We're going to rip that band-aid right off, and boom. This is boom shakalaka right here. That's that energy. I mean, damn. So whatever situation you were in, it's like they had to get you out of there. No, there was no kicking and screaming. I don't think you saw that coming. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. You get no privacy. Oh, oh. Seven of Pentacles. But look at this. What I say, you never be the same. The divine had to put you through it. 
so you can rise anew. And again, I'm getting weird science. Ooh, somebody thinks you have all the right features. All, like, you you just came out of nowhere. It took you some time with the Seven of Pentacles to rise again. You see this like a death and rebirth. I feel like the divine was helping you. Okay? You you got by by a little help from your friends. That's for sure. In the spirit realm. Yeah, you see them back there holding those coins. And I feel you have major opportunities coming to you. And they want to bless you. But you had to go through this. Transformation. Made anew. Weird science. Yeah, if you, I don't know if you guys ever heard of that movie. I mean, it's an old movie. Okay, we're talking probably late 80s, early 90s. Or maybe it was around the uh, 90s. Early to mid 90s. I don't remember, but it's called Weird Science. Where these two guys created this gorgeous woman on their computer and made her you know brought her to life and she had all the right features and they both were you know were claiming to date her or, you know they they didn't know which one she was gonna go after you know but they both like hung out with her but she was basically like kinda like the divine feminine energy like her own person and extremely hot okay I feel like somebody's looking at you like that and spirit was like you're better than this and I have to put you through this you have, you had to find your inner goddess here because you were in something that was not good for you. And that's probably this person that dreams about you. Maybe they understand that there's someone still hovering, watching you. And they're like, well, you say he's just a friend because they don't know what you're up to. Okay. A lot of energy here. Wow. So Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone does want to make you an offer. But they're treading with caution. Okay, that's what I see here. And I feel they're going to come out of the blue even if it's taken them forever. They probably took their time and went through some things themselves. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you got two people here. So maybe you met a charmer in the past that stabbed you in the back. They were a charmer. But what I see here is is someone is going to come to you um, one step at a time they're going to take it slow and they're going to want to romance you yeah there's definitely two <laughs> no wonder I was getting that song yeah the tower again so it's almost like there's somebody you fell for that really stabbed you in the back that spirit had to take you away from because you needed to find who you were you are you are like that that goddess within and you had to work on yourself. They were working with you because they know you deserve someone great. And that person is both of these people that are watching you. But this other person still has feelings for you, even if they stabbed you in the back. It's like, what's mine is mine, you know, and what's yours is mine kind of energy. But no, you're going to get it in with some. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> You're going to get it in with someone else. Someone's going to feel the burn that they gave you, you know, the pain. Wow. How the coins flip. Six of Pentacles. Yes. Equal giving and receiving. That's what you needed. And there it goes. <laughs> if I'm not fucking. Oh my goodness. Death becomes her. She's drinking a freaking potion. Spirit is giving you something, man. They boy, they're working with you. They want you to look good for this new person. Yeah, that movie was about three witches, and one of them went to like some type of like I don't I don't remember what she was, but she was like a spellcaster, and she gave her a potion to drink so that she can look younger. Um, and and with this whole thing. Yeah, it's like you're rising anew. You're looking better, feeling better, and you're attracting um, new new people into your life. 
and I see some people, you know, tripping over getting with you. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. The chariot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, somebody wants to get it in with you. So now we have a Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the chariot. I feel like this is the right person. A lot of people want to give it to you. What's he holding there? <laughs> it's like if I could just detach my penis and you can take it with you so you can fuck me whenever you want. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm sorry. And I can feel it over on my end. That would be great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, this is sexual reading 18 and up. <laughs> This person just, this person wants to, yeah, they want to feel it, they want to give it to you, they want to satisfy you, slowly, and rough, ten of pentacles, yeah, and I just heard, here I come to save the day, mighty mouse is on his way, <laughs> So somebody here wants to romance you. Uh, they probably have been watching. And they probably feel that you have been through some things. Just by, you know, maybe what you post, what you have on your social media. They've probably been watching your whole transformation. Not, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, Knight of Swords. I think you're going to have to beat some people here with a... With a bat, they like fly, shoo, shoo. You see all these birds coming at you? You got the Knight of Swords. You got the Knight of Cups. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Chariot. I'm telling you, you are not the same person you were before. You're a, you're attracting a swarm of options. So even if nobody's talking to you right now, they're coming. You you see that coming? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Hold on. Cause I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Hold on. Hold on. Do you remember? Ah, oh, man, I'm telling you. And when I saw this card, I saw like two paths because they're going opposite directions. So you have many, many, many choices here. I don't know who this is for here, but damn. Weird science. I'm telling you, watch it. If you, It's an oldie but goodie. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You're turning some damn heads just like that person in that movie. You have been secluded, taking time to heal, transform, possibly working out getting your your hair right your skin right your whatever it is that you're doing and maybe posting some selfies from time to time people are taking notice i just feel like somebody all these people find you irresistible even the person that stabbed you in the back it's like what the fuck did i do yeah, too late for them too late it's too late Three of Pentacles. Uh huh. There can only be one. Oh, and you'll know who. It's this one right here. Mm -hmm. Victory. There can only be one. Somebody wants to romance you. They want a relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. They want to treat you like the queen that you are. Like the empress that you are. Somebody here would love to combine food and sex. So they might... This I'm hearing like nine and a half weeks. Watch that movie too. Wow, this reading is like... You have a lot of people that dream about you. They dream about being with you. But there will be victory with somebody here. And somebody from the past, they still want it. Even though they treated you like crap. Beautiful. Somebody uh, might have, you know, 
we hope that people don't still put mirrors on the ceiling, but hey, <laughs> somebody might like to look at themselves while they do you. I don't know who that one's for, but I see it. And there is some kinkiness here. Yeah, there you got some kinky folks wanting to spank that ass. You have some people that want to romance you. You want some people that want to tread with caution, treat you with respect. Um, one of them really wants a connection with you. Coffee date, con conversing, chemistry. You know, whether you go out for coffee, an appetizer, a cocktail, whatever. They just want to conversate and you're going to feel the chemistry. And yeah, I'm being told to, you know how you're, you're holding the cup, both your hands are on the cup and this person is holding your hand. You're going to be a little apprehensive when it comes to all these people trying to ask you out, okay, because what you went through. So you're not going to give your heart to just anyone, okay? I can see that there. Travel plans. Yeah, whoever this person is coming to you that wants a relationship, Ten of Pentacles. They want to travel with you. Yeah, I see my future in you. I hope you feel the same. Wow. Passion ignites. I don't think I can turn this off. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just like this. Yeah, this person wants to come through your door and spend some time with you. Most definitely. They look like they went through the mail too. Like their shirt's like halfway ripped open. So they could have been in a situation themselves. We do have the tower twice. Yeah, how can someone like you be single? Admiration and awe of you. I love your strength, your confidence, how you carry yourself. Mm-hmm. There you go. Can you ever forgive me? Genuine apology, guilt, regret, regret. Please give me another chance. Oh, excuse me. Please forgive me and reaching out. Yep, that's the person that did you dirty. Divine gift. There you go. So you're you're about to be you're you're becoming a gift for someone, and they they will be you will be gifted someone now that matches your energy because of everything that you went through here okay there's gonna be travel involved you're gonna start dating abundance is gonna come your way ten of cups energy this person will spoil you and shower you with gifts and and you guys will you will create a whole life together I can see it with the ten of Pentacles and I see my future in you and I feel like somebody wants to rush to come to you before someone else snatches you up as well. Yeah, someone from your past will send a message feeling nostalgic, missing you, thinking of you. I mean, this could also be other people. We have so many nights here. So many people wanting to be around your energy. Thinking of you often leads me to self-pleasure. I mean, damn. <laughs> people are pleasuring themselves watching you. You're turning some heads. You're turning people on here. I'm telling you. I never believed in soulmates till I met you. You threw me for a loop. Wow. And this is under can you ever forgive me? So you, you might have met a karmic soulmate. That's why you're in the Ten of Swords. Were in the Ten of Swords. And you had to rebuild yourself. I'm so into you. The hunger is real. And that's the divine gift. And someone from your past is still crushing on you. And we have that here. Someone's feeling nostalgic and they want to reach out. Someone from your past, they're thinking of you. Three of Pentacles, Passion Ignite, Six of Pentacles. I mean, good Lord. You have more than just one person from your past here. You have like two or three and you have this wonderful uh, person that sees you as the one one that wants to spoil you and shower you with gifts time energy like they see you in their future 
So this might come out, out of the blue with the Tower and the Knight of Swords. It's like they were watching, they were watching, they were watching, and all of a sudden, boom, I gotta snatch this one up. Because they're like, how can you be single? They're in admiration of you, in awe, you know, in awe of you. They love your strength and confidence now, and how you carry yourself. And I say now because you went through some definite transformation. Wow. People are dreaming of you, being with you, and so is this new person. This is going to shock you, though. It's going to come out of the blue. Good Lord. So much energy in this, this deck, this pile. Passion igniting everywhere. Jealousy. I mean, damn. You're going to have to <laughs> beat them off with the bat. <laughs> They're coming. It's a swarm. I'm just, I can't get over that. It's a swarm coming at you. You're going to be like, what? And you are enlightened here. Mm -hmm. You're like the lighthouse. Yes. There it is. They're coming. You're the light, and they're coming like a moth to a flame. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> what do these people want to do to you, I guess? Because <laughs> there ain't just one. So, this person... Let, let's just talk about the person that sees you in their future. The divine gift. What is their position? Their favorite position? What, what position they want to put you in? What's their favorite position? Excuse me. Got the hiccups. Okay, so we got very uncomfortable position there, whatever that is. I don't think I've ever tried that one. I've tried the legs on the, you know, next to both ears, on the shoulders, but never, I'm usually laying on a bed, not quite like that. It looks uncomfortable, but okay. And what is your favorite position, whoever's watching? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think he likes it too. Nice. Okay. And where would they like to do it to you? And how do they like it? Let's see. Where would they like to do it to you? And how do they like it? Okay, they want to do it to you on the stairs. And free choice. Anything goes. I don't think I've ever done it on the stairs. Interesting. And what about you? Dining room and rough. So you want it in the dining room and you want it rough. Alright, that's not for everybody. Okay. And what would they like to do to you? Let's see. Let's see if this one. Well, yeah, let's see. Let's just do that one. So they want to blow on your ears. We got an ear blower. All right. And what would you like to do to them? <laughs> you want a nip on? Oops. You want a nip on thigh? That wanted to change. So let me do that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> nip definitely came out twice. So nip on ears, nip on thighs. That's what you like to do. Okay, like a nibble. All right, so let's see what these cards have. I've never, or have I? I've never worn sexy lingerie. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that's for the females, but hey, just for fun, because guys do some weird shit. <laughs> let's see if this person that sees you as the one, as someone... They can build something with. Let's see. 
Okay, so this guy's funny. <laughs> They're gonna make you laugh. Okay, what about you, ladies? Of course. I knew that would be a yes. And let's see. I've never, or have I? I've never flashed my tits in public. <laughs> That's definitely, definitely for the ladies. Ah, let's see. It says no. Okay. So that's for someone that has never done that. Okay. Alright. Alright, guys. That's what I have for you. Wow. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Good lord. They're coming. And they're going to swarm you. And they're, you're going to spark some jealousy here. For sure. Hey. To no fault of your own. You're just being you. You have been working on yourself and it shows. And they are attracted, but you're attracting someone, a gift. The divine is handing you a gift and many other opportunities from what I see here. They wanted you to discover your higher self, your best self, because they have plans for you and you have to be in your best, is what I feel like. You have to exude whatever it is you're exuding right now. Um, so I would get ready. And it's probably because this person, uh, maybe they're wealthy or they have some type of high status. What pile was that that I was feeling that in? I think it was pile one or two. I don't remember. But um, if you're resonating with any of those. And that's probably why. Like you had to go through a major transformation. Not just not not just physically. It was, it was internally. You had to see your worth. Okay. Spirit has plans for you. They are definitely by your side. Wow. Alright guys, that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that. And I will talk to you guys again later or soon. Alright, bye-bye.